scars of mental bullying, as I delve deeply into the abyss of my soul, that many times leaves me with a chilling feeling as the thoughts consume me and swallow me whole. Swimming through those murky waters of an ever-flowing energy force as it searches for a way out by looking even more deeply into the welds of those chains from decades before. The chains that I have installed after building the walls and surrounding them with impenetrable gates, then closing the padlocks on those chains as if to keep others out, or at least that's what I told myself. Then that became my reality for years to come, rusted shut because I could not bear to step outside of myself, dissect the intricacies of just how this prison was constructed, or why I allowed others to force me inside in the first place. Why did I not have the courage to let others see who I really was and stand up for myself and not be bullied into submission? Even though I had the thoughts and emotions to become anything I wanted to, and yet lacked the belief to stand alone and be heard, all due to what others thought of me or didn't think of themselves. So I let those scare tactics and the mob mentality, as well as the emotional beatings, take me down to a place that I didn't deserve or belong. In essence, these experiences caused me to quit on myself just because others were threatened by something that they didn't understand, feared, and therefore chose to tear me down. And with it, every dream I ever had. The sad part is, I let them. And in doing so, stepped freely into my mind's prison, where I could live out my dreams and fantasies in total isolation, untouched by anyone. Therefore, obtaining that level of safety and acceptance that I so desperately needed. I then remained there until I no longer chose to stay confined like the caterpillar whose time it was to become a butterfly or a baby eagle that has finally taken its first flight. I will never again let anyone else's insecurities shape and mold me because my belief in myself and those dreams, that's what's going to set me free.